I need a little help from my friend Charlotte Waters, who is here with Visit Oconee. We are loving being here. What a great yeah. day. If temperatures are great outside, well, you know it best. What attracts visitors to this area? Well, I did order this weather for Thank you. Thank you. We, we owe you. We owe you big. That's right. Uh, well, it's our waterfalls, rivers, and lakes, which we describe in our visitor's guide for Boom. anyone that's wanting to plan a visit here. We promote our different waterfalls. We have hikes from easy to extreme, depending on how long you want to hike. And some of the beautiful ones in the area are Yellow Branch, mm -hmm. that's about a mile and a half in. Marcus is bragging about that one in our like loose talk segment, yes, so that's one of his favorites. It is amazing. And then we have some extreme hikes where you could go two hours in, two hours out. Yes. And then, of course, our whitewater rafting is amazing on the Chattooga River. Mm -hmm. We've got fly fishing that we're going to talk about soon Yay. that's on Chaga and Chattooga. And I got to experience that in the cold one uh, two winters ago and had a blast. Didn't catch anything, but had a blast. Hey, sometimes just being out there is half the fun. It is. It's worth going out and learning how to cast that fly fish. And then, of course, our fishing in the area. We're, I'm right now in the middle of the Phoenix All-American Championship. It's a major league fishing that's here at our new Seneca Creek. But Wahala is an amazing place. Stump House Tunnel is actually the number. It's Googled more than anything else in Wahala. Really? Yeah. Well, it's so, just such a cool thing because it doesn't take like, you know, a whole day to go and do, no. but you can like do it and then go to the Yellow Branch yes. and go do Issaquah. You know what I mean? There's just so many things. I suggest planning if you're a big hiker, yes. plan one, a small hike in the morning, a big one in the afternoon. And also just make sure you get out and see everything. There's some great restaurants. There's something to do for everyone. Girl, we were already, you know, hating that we missed the country covered and we can't wait for the steakhouse to open so That's we right. can get some of the yeah. best fried chicken exactly. in the area. If people are wanting to, you know, really plan out the trip, obviously get one of these. Can yes. you like sign up and have them like mail to they, you? We can. Uh, on our website, visit .com, There is a form down at the bottom that you can actually go on and check out a digital ver version of it or you can ask have one mail to you. I love it. Like for these, I just love to, you know, because when you're planning it out your stuff, you want to. Everything. Wanna, yes. It has our parks. We even have horse trails. See, people are always asking, where can we go ride horses and do the horse trails? And we actually have an Airbnb. It's called the Barn and Bed, where you can bring your horse and spend the night. That is so cool. Yeah. See, there, it's just so many fun things to do. These towns, they're so welcoming. Everyone that comes out yes. is just so nice. Great food and yes. mainly the outdoors. That's exactly. what it's all about, Charlotte. Well, you've been a great host. Thanks. Thank you so much for everything we're doing. And again, what's the website that you want to visit? Visit OconeSC.com. I love it.